Right. So, good evening, fellas, and welcome to our Big Bash League does some sort of mastermind or some embarrassment of, of that. Um, just to give a few details on the next couple of days as to what's going to happen. Tonight, we're obviously recording today's episode. That'll go live tomorrow night, and then on Wednesday, we'll be filming the other four candidates who will end up <coughs> Thursday, and the winning team the winning points will be added there, and we'll add them to our, our mastermind. Just another important bit of information for you. This week, we are also going to be recording our um, question of sport, which will be going live on Saturday evening as well. But before anything else happens and I mess up any further, very, very simply, stopping the sharing now, we'll get on with our big bash mastermind. So I pulled names out of hat earlier and Peely, you came out first. So your first round is a general knowledge round. Can you please choose a number between 1 and 16? 1. Number 1, easy as that. So you have gone for question set number 1. So, Peely, question number 1. Could everyone else mute their mics? That'd be great. Thank you. Um, since its debut in 2015, Hamilton has become one of the biggest musicals of all time. But who wrote it? How long have I got to answer that? About five seconds. I've uh, passed. Pass. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Works in a thing um, as well. Which hit video game series, if you get this wrong, Peely, you need sacking from your day job. Um, which hit video game series has released games called World at War and Black Ops? Uh, fuck me. Activision? Uh, a more simple answer. More simple answer than, well. As in what video game series? Oh, uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote the books Gone Girl and Sharp Object? Uh, I don't know. Pass. Gillian Flynn. Where is I'm a Celebrity taking place this year? A country will do. Australia? Wales. All right. <laughs> this, is for this one. What is Barbie the doll's full name? Barbara? I will give you a point. It is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Um, yeah. This will this will test your uh, how much you watch the uh, films with your daughter. Who right. provided the voice for Dory in the Finding Nil Nemo films? Fuck is this? This is all this is all like TV. I don't watch TV. Uh, Dory, Dory, Dory. Uh, gonna go Jim Carrey. It, um, it's, it's a female. Um, it's Ellen DeGeneres. Right, okay. Which former Doctor Who actress plays Nebula in the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy franchises? Uh, Billy Piper? No, but it was Karen Gillian. And the final one, which iconic singer was known as the King of Pop? Uh, so either the King of Pop, the King was Elvis, but the King of Pop was um, Michael Jackson. Brilliant. There we go. Thank you very much, Billy. Uh, you scored a... Grand total of three points. Three to beat, boys. Three to beat, starts good, starts good. Okay, so next up we have Pidge. So, Peely, we'll say goodbye to you for a minute. Pidge, can you choose a number between two and 16? 10. <laughs> this wasn't one of the questions to have a think about. <laughs> 10. So, number 10, here we go. Are you ready? Do a second. Oh. I'm back. Yeah, that was. Um, right, number ten. Um, what's the highest mountain in the world? Everest. How many wives did Henry VIII have? Eight. Six. What's the name of Andy Murray's tennis playing brother? Oh. Oh, it's Tom, but it isn't Tom. It's not, it's Jamie. Um, what does Craig David do with his date on Tuesday in his song, Seven Days? Pass. He took her for a drink on Tuesday. Um, where would you find the Golden Gate Bridge? Peter's having a whinge at his other questions. 
uh, America. I was pushing for a city, please. <sighs> New York. San Francisco. Oh. What year did World War Two end? 1946. Oh, 1945. And the, oh. and the final question. Uh, no, not second to last question, sorry. What sport did Fred Perry play? Tennis. Did play tennis. And final question. <laughs> sorry, Peely. What is the capital of Spain? Capital of Spain? Yeah. Madrid. Is indeed... So that ties you with Peely on three points. Is this some sort of, some sort of, sort of stitch up? <laughs> like, <laughs> I would every one of them. question sets and you went with the ball number one. Now, number one was when I had lots of energy in finding good questions, Peely. I'll give you that. Because <laughs> so, I went first, they now know to pick 16. What yeah, is? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, had, I had a brew then, I was rejuvenated. Um, so, Panel, going live on you. Cheating on the double screen. Pick a number between one and 16, panel. It's not uh, one or 10. <laughs> Should we have to know why you saw it out? You need to unmute yourself, Tom. No, I got it. Sorry, my mouse, my uh, external mouse is bugging out. I got it. Um, you your laptop. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, sorry, what was... What Pick was a number between week? 1 and 16 that's not 1 and 10. Uh, 20. Can, can Pick a number between off 1 off? and 16 that isn't 1 or 10. 20. Yeah, is it 20? No, 20 yeah. is not between 1 and 16. Oh, I've got 16. You've got um, a knock of a mark off, Jake. <laughs> I can't. Uh, five, please. Five. That has gone with question set number five. Oh, there we go. And who'd have thought picking a number would be the hardest bit of the quiz? Okay. So, how many days does it take the Earth to orbit the Sun? 365. Um, yep. Um, what is the national flower of Japan? Uh, Lotus. Mm, cherry Blossom. Which famous graffiti artist comes from Bristol? Banksy. Mm, yep. Where is Billie Eilish from? Um, City. Amer America? City. Oh. Chicago. LA. What song is the all-time most streamed song on Spotify as of last Thursday? I think that's when I got the answer from. Um, I'm going to go with <laughs> Gangnam Style. It is Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. Fuck yeah. Which movie was Pixar's first feature-length film? Oh, uh, was it Lion King? It was Toy Story. Oh. And then which football team is known as the Red Devils? Manchester United. That gives you three to tie you level. Man. Peely and Pidge. One we of those questions was... Pidge, how mate, you had the easiest questions ever. What the fuck? Mate, I'm not being funny, Tom, but one of your questions was how many days are there in a year? <laughs> and one of them was to ask him to pick a number between one and 20. So one and six. Days. Which he got wrong. Which he got wrong. <laughs> So, Dino, coming to you last, please. I will just, just to clarify, can you pick a number between 1 and 16? That's 1, 6. And you yeah. can't have the number 1, number 10, or number 5. Or number 20. Uh, or I'll, 20. <laughs> um, I'll go 8. Gone 8. So, Dino, your first question is, what nut is used to make marzipan? I Peanut? I don't know. Almonds. What element does O represent in the periodic table? Oxygen. Oxygen is correct. Who was the British Prime Minister before Theresa May? I think you're living about four. Uh, was that David Cameron? It was David Cameron. Um, who won I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2019? 
Um, oh dear. Uh, pass. Jacqueline Josser. What's the name of the river that runs through Egypt? Uh, the River Nile. Correct. And in metres, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? Um, 50? I don't know. 50 is correct. And then, can you name the actor who played Chandler Bing in the hit series Friends? Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry is correct. So storming into a lead with five points is Dino. So we know what we've got to go from there. We are now going into our second round. This is our specialist subject round. So no pressure. And we will go in reverse <coughs> order. So to reveal the specialist subjects, we have cricket from the last decade. We have cocktails, we have Big Bash teammates, and we have geography. Some puzzled looking faces here about they're thinking they chose the wrong one. Dino, coming to you as we go for reverse order, you were quite obviously cricket from the last decade. Are you ready? Yes. You told me you didn't need to revise. Let's give it a go. Who scored the most ten most test runs in the last decade? Oh dear. Um, Steve Smith. Oh, oh no, I did it. I'll take your first answer. The answer is actually Alistair Cook. Ah. Virat Kohli took the wicket, took a wicket before <laughs> technically even bowling a ball in ODI cricket when against England. He had a player stumped down leg side and therefore a wide ball being called. But which world famous English batsman did he get out? Um, uh, Juru. Not Juru. Kevin Peterson. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> it's going well. In 2011, India won the ODI World Cup. But which of their players won Player of the Tournament award despite his ongoing battle with cancer? Uh, this is not good, is it? Uh, um, Sachin Tendulkar. Let's go with retired. Yuvraj Singh. Oh. I've done quite a bit planning these like these questions. Okay. We get some more re recent ones at the end. In 2012, England won their test series against India. The only series India lost at home throughout the decade. But which two England spinners combined to take 19 of 20 wickets in the second test? Graham Swan and Monty Panesar. Is correct. Yeah, On the 27th of November 2014, the cricket world was rocked by the death of which Australian batsman? Philip Hughes. Which West Indian batsman smashed four sixes off Ben Stokes' final over to help West Indies win the 2016-2020 World Cup? Carlos Brathwaite. Indeed. In which three Australian players were banned in the fallout of the Sandpaper Gate scandal? Steve Smith, David Warner and Cameron Bancroft. Correct. And in 2019, England won arguably the greatest ODI match in history to clinch the 2019 World Cup. But which technicality sealed their victory? So what? So in 2019, England won arguably the greatest ODI match in history to clinch the 2019 World Cup. But on which technicality did they seal their victory? Um, they won on boundary count. Did run on boundary count, correct. And that gives you a grand total of Five of eight, which means your cut total is over <coughs> 10. So, Dino, good scores there by the end of it, pulled yourself back round. So, that leaves us then with Parnell. You don't even get to choose now because you've got yours. Yep. Parnell's choice was geography and, in particular, capital cities. And I won't be that easy for you, so we've changed up a little bit. But, question number one for you, Parnell Songyang is the capital city of which country? Say that again. So, <laughs> I might say it wrong, but Song Yang is the capital city of which country? Uh, North Korea. Correct. 
What is the capital of Peru? Oh, shit, it's... Um... Push your hands, Uh, yeah, pass, sorry. It's Lima. Fuck. Um, the capital city of which country has a largest population as of 2020, according to Metropolitan Area Rankings? Um, <laughs> Shanghai. Actually, Japan. Uh, so, which country is capital city? Oh. Would it would be Japan, Tokyo. Tokyo. Um, Abuja is one of the world's smallest capitals in relation to its country's population at just 0.45% of the total population. But which country is it the capital of? Abuja. Abuja. Sounds like African. Um, Togo. It's Nigeria. Oh. If I am looking at the Trevi Fountain, which capital city am I in? Um, Warsaw. Rome. Oh, Teagle Airport is found in which European capital city? I will accept the country. Or Tegel. So, say the airport again, sorry? T yeah, well, it's either, it's T-E-G-E-L. Teagle, Tegel. Oh, uh, Italy? Germany, Berlin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which capital city appears in the title of the 2014 film starring Ralph Fiennes and directed by Wes Anderson? Um, no idea. Budapest in the Grand Budapest Hotel. No. Which capital city hosts the largest arts festival in the world? Paris. Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Fringe. Tom, you scored one point. Oh dear. <laughs> it's gone well for you, that. <laughs> Specialist subjects. Pidge. Oi, oi. Pidge, your teammates. These are your big bash specifically. Which of your teammates once caused an outrage by announcing his methods of preparing and eating? A specific carbohydrate. Mr. Tommy Crockett. Is correct with his crumpets. Which of your teammates was once arrested for wearing no clothes in public? Pass. We'll see if he announces himself on the availability group having watched this. Who is your youngest Big Bash teammate? Tommy Crockett. Joe Murph. Oh, According to Facebook, which of your teammates is from Littleborough? From where, sorry? Littleborough, Rochdale. Pass. Nathan King. According to Facebook, which of your teammates shared an intimate moment with a Rissusi Annie doll? With a what, sorry? Which of your teammates shared an intimate moment with a Rissusi Annie doll? Chris Peel. <laughs> not your teammate for the Big Bash, but it would be, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce his surname, Mo. Have a look on Facebook he, if you don't disagree. He's my teammate. Sorry, Peel is, yeah. But he didn't have an intimate moment with the <laughs> Stanley Doll, so you're all right. <laughs> um, well, he might have done, but he just didn't publicise it on Facebook. <laughs> um, which of your teammates during lockdown this year selected you as number 16 in their best 15 players they ever played with 
So let that sink in. 16 out of their best 15. Dale Taberner. It was indeed Dale Taberner. According to Facebook, again, which of your teammates has two jobs? The first is a software development engineer at Olympus Automation Limited, and the second for Manchester City. I have no idea. Josh Strauss. I'd be interested to know what he does at Man City, if I'm honest. Which of <laughs> teammates woke up the day after their first ever Bailden game, still in his Bailden shirt and tie, in bed, covered in whiskey flavoured vomit and half a pizza? Josh Bull. William Ben Priestley, that answer was me. Um, wasn't a good day. Mum wasn't over oh, yeah. it. was her house. Pidge. In your specialist subject of your teammates, you got two. <laughs> Did well. Which leaves us, Peely, this is your specialist subject now, and if you get this wrong with all that alcohol in the background, you've got a problem. I'm nervous now. I should have picked that. Yeah, I should have picked something like Dostoevsky or something like. <laughs> something I'd have to research and not know a bit yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. So, first, the first three, it's just name the cocktail from its ingredients. White rum, lime juice, sugar, mint, and soda water. Uh, mojito. Gin, cherry brandy, Cointreau, Benedictine, Grenadine, lemon or lime juice, pineapple juice, and Angostura bitters. Singapore sling. Correct. Tequila, triple sec, and lime. It's a margarita. It is. What is the difference between a white and a black Russian? White Russian is made with half and half, which is milk and cream. Black Russian is made with Coke. Indeed. What turns a plain martini into a dirty one? That is with salt or brine. I will give that as an answer. Yeah. Salt water. Salt water, olive juice, brine. Yeah. Anyway, which drink consists mainly of wine, chopped fruit, sweetener and brandy? That's a cobbler. It's a sangria. A sangria, okay. It's also a cobbler. Well, not the answer I've got. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and if I let you have too many more, you might run away with this. Um, yeah, yeah co cobbler, does... cobbler, cobbler's usually sherry-based as well, so that's that's the sort of, you use fortified wine in a cobbler. Lots of ah, uh, well, fruit. that's why I just fine. put wine. It's <laughs> fine. What does the Irish in Irish coffee come from? Uh, Bailey's. Irish whiskey, I'll give you it. Um, according to the famed mixologist, Dale DeGroff, do you know him? No. Not a friend of yours? No. No, okay. Well, the, only one that I, the only one that I know is Douglas Anker, who invented the porn star Martini. Of course you do, with that tash. Um, what is the maximum size of a cocktail should be, according to Dale DeGroff? 12 ounces, maybe 14 at a push. Five ounces, buddy. Okay. Obviously not an alcoholic, not from Bailden. You're all right. It's good. So, Bailey, cocktails. Cocktails. you got six. Woo. That leaves us into the final round. Dino, you have 10 points. Pidge, five. Peely, nine points. Carnell. A fifth of what you guessed in the first round, four. And because of where we are, to even stand the chance of winning, Parnell, you must get seven out of seven correct in the last round. What, what's the what's the thing? What's the top of it? It's Jen Jen again. Oh, go on. So you need to pick a number between one and 16. One, six. Okay. So not 17, not 18, less than that. Yeah. And you cannot have the number 8, number 10, number 1, or number 5. Let's go for 16 then, please. Let's go for 16. Now, these were found on a comedic website. 
just in theory, funny questions. Now, you, their definition of funny and mine is very different, I will be honest. But if you've ever played the game Balderdash, hmm, you might be on this one. So, who invented the word vomit? Um, right, uh, Einstein. Sort of William Shakespeare. Which you, which European country has 158 verses to its national anthem? Oh, oh um, what's a long one? Uh, Italy. Close. Greece. The leader of which country has his face on all yogurt pots, has named the month January after himself, and has banned ballet? Which country is the leader of? Uh, I'm going to have to say North Korea. Mm, close. Turkmenistan. <laughs> you guess it. You pick number 16 for these questions. What is Scooby Doo's full name? He's got like there's a there's another name to Scooby Doo, like a full name. Maybe in addition to what's already there. Um <laughs> Bass, I don't know. Scoobert Doo. Oh, what is the collective noun? So a group of nouns, a noun for a group of unicorns. The collective noun for a group of unicorns. What? Um, Peely's thinking he could be a worse number now. Say that again. Peely's thinking that number one wasn't the worst number anymore. Yeah, what the heck? A pack. A blessing. Where was the fortune cookie invented? Country? Uh, yeah, I'll let you guess it. If you get the country right. I mean, I want to say China, but I just, it's not really China, is it? Um, I'm going Malaysia. It was in San Francisco, USA. Um, <laughs> what is the cross between a donkey and a zebra called? The biological name to this, not what you want it to be called. <laughs> A mule? Is it a mule? It's actually a Z-donk. 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 Um, Parnell, you needed seven. They're not zero. You did get zero, you're right. What the hell are they? <laughs> I got shit on there. I mean, I'm saying nothing. But you pick the number. Maybe 20 would have been a better option for you. So, next... What, what, what number was that, Parnell? What number did you pick there? 16. Right. So, Peely, you can't have 16. Um, then, Pidge, could you pick a number between 1 and 16 that is not 16, 5, 1, 10, or 8? 13. 13. There's 13. Next page. Oh. Oh. Pidge, you need 6 to even stand a chance of winning. 5, you can tie it. Pidge, what is the largest muscle in the body? The thigh. Is the gluteus maximus the bottom? Now I've seen your bum, it should have been fairly obvious. That ain't muscle. <laughs> no, number two, what famous battle happened in 1066? Hastings. Hastings, it's correct. <laughs> Who plays Margaret Thatcher in season four of The Crown? No idea. Honest answer. <laughs> Was uh, Gillian Anderson. Don't know who she is, just on this question. Um, who presented The Weakest Link from 2000 to 2012? Anne Robinson. Ooh. Is she related? Looks like it. Um, what is the most common colour of toilet paper in France? Pink. Is correct. 
Sorry, that didn't mean to sound surprised you got a question right there, Pidge, but it is right, yeah. Um, if you dug a hole through the centre of the earth, starting from Wellington in New Zealand, which European city would you end up in? Rome. Sorry, I repeat the oh. question. Which country will you end up in? Oh, country, sorry. Italy. Right, it's still wrong, it's Spain. Um, <laughs> Henry VIII introduced a tax in England in 1535, but what tax was it? You'd be screwed. You are, sorry? You'd be screwed. Income tax. <laughs> <laughs> No, a beard tax. Oh, right. Tax for beards, apparently. So, Pidge, you scored three points. Fortunately, that means you can't win, but big old thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then we have Peely and Dino, the two that really stood a chance of winning. Um, Peely, can you choose a number between 1 and 16, We've had eight nine. and ten. Pardon? Pardon? Nine. We'll, we'll, eight and ten were easy, so we'll go nine. Nine? Oh. Ooh. Thinking outside. Unless that's, unless that's a, a misdirect. Also, how do you not even know who Gillian Anderson is? Who is she? she wasn't she um, Scully on The X-Files? Hasn't she been in loads of stuff? She might be, mate, but... She's awesome. I mean, I mean, I'm not quite as well cultured as you, Peely, so. Well, I've never seen a TV program. I thought the X Files was one of those things we went to haunted houses. Pretty much. No, fair enough. It's pretty much um, so, Peely's gone with number, with, with number nine. Peely, what is the name of the royal family's castle in Scotland? Oh my God, I know this. Um, Fuck. I'm going to hate myself if I get this wrong. What's your for an answer? Uh, they always go up there, don't they? They do. You're right. It's their house in Scotland. I'm going to have to pass. Fuck. Balmoral. Ah. For one point, can you name the five senses in a human body? Five senses. So you've got touch, taste, smell, sight and hearing. Correct. Panel, you chose 16. No, it's that one you now. How did um, you get ball, ball wrong? Um, number three is who did Orlando Bloom play in Pirates of the Caribbean? Captain Jack Sparrow. Incorrect. Will Turner. Um, right. Johnny Depp played Jack Sparrow. All right, I've not seen it. How? Which English football? Which English town has football team called United and Wednesday? Sheffield. It's correct. How many people are there on an English jury? An English jury, 12. Correct. What, th oh. what three ingredients make up a margarita? <laughs> Triple sec lime and tequila. Yeah. That went really well for me, didn't it? Um, yes. <laughs> for one point, can you name the five colours of the Olympic gold ring? Uh, gold ring, not gold. It's not gold. The five Olympic rings. Yeah, so you've got red, yellow, green, black, and I'm going to say blue. Correct. Piling the pressure on there with a score of five to take you to 14 points. Balmoral could fuck me though, right? I mean, Balmoral, yeah, Balmoral could, could do you the disservice. What happens at a tie? No, uh, I think I'll get a four, but... If it's a tie, Pinell wins. <laughs> no, it's a tie, I've got a, a tiebreaker question and it'll be quickest to the buzzer. Is it what 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 ingredients are in a margarita? Pizza, yeah. Um so Dino, can you pick a number yeah. between one and sixteen? And you cannot have eight, ten, one, five, thirteen, nine, or sixteen. Uh, I'll have Six. Got to find it now. There we go. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, could be close this. Dino, no pressure. But if you if you don't, Parnell's already let you down, so you're really sort of saving grace for working late tonight today. Um, but what is the name for the Swiss dish that usually involves melted cheese or chocolate? Fondue. Is correct. According to the book and movie, what designer line does the devil wear? Prada. Correct. Ooh. Which female pioneer in aviation disappeared over the mid Pacific in 1937? Paige was born the day after. I, I pass. Amelia Earhart. What kind of Greek bread is used in a gyro? Gyro? Oh, um, a pita? Is that is correct? Yeah. Gyro. It's got a lot of meat in it. I quite like it. Which New York street is closely associated with the business world and stock market? Wall Street. Is correct. That brings us to a tie. Good left. evening, Dino. You've got two questions left. But remember, this is a total score as well. We've got another, another round to go of four more people. Right. What is the female fox called? What? A pardon? Um, I, I literally don't have a clue. Pass. It is a vixen. We are down to the final question. To get this right to beat Peely. How many ghosts visit Scrooge in a Christmas carol? Uh, oh, is that... oh, that's a trick. Four. Peely, do you agree with four? Uh, three, isn't it? It's the ghost of past, present and future. No, Marley as well. The correct answer is, and to give the youngest participant a win, oh. four. Dino, that gives you a total of 15 points. And working late tonight have one bonus point added to their tally. However, we have a tie on the night because Pandemic Pumpkins scored 14 points with Chris Peel. And Mr. Pigeon Got a grand total of eight points. That's 22. And Dino got 15 points. And Parnell, just to let you know, the one that's paying £9,000 a year for education. <laughs> oh, geography, then. But well, you chose it as your specialist subject. Got four points. Therefore, a total of 19 to 22 means that the pandemic pumpkins with their aggregate win also take a point forward. So the way that's going to happen now is Dino, currently you stand as a Bailden's mastermind, which does worry me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Um, but you stand there. So at the moment with 15 points, yours is the highest score. On Thursday, or later in the week, sorry, we have four more contestants that will be also playing for the crown of mastermind. So keep tuned, stay tuned. Thank you very much, fellas, for that. Um, really good sports. I might have to change the questions a little bit. But thank you very much. And as far as I'm fairly 